Ladies and gentlemen, do I have news for you. That's right. On top of this giant pressure system, Category 1 wind hurst speed hurricane coming into the entire West Coast from California up into Canada, we also have Mercury square Mars today, which can equate to fighting words. Arguments and disagreements are more likely under this influence. So steer clear of unnecessary drama. People are likely to be more irritable. So yeah, if a shark is coming at you, punch it square in the nose and it will swim away. And hey, cranky weather guy, the king of weather Twitter and the lord of the snow weenies. Yo dude, newsflash. Jupiter is many times larger than Earth. <clears throat> so I guess your comparison of the size of Jupiter's red spot over the East Coast was not completely accurate. Oh, that made me smile. I did. It did. I, I didn't know that. Asterisk. Asterisk. So was like, he pronounced the asterisk wrong. Okay, another thing. Since I am irritable, if I use a word properly but say it in, mis incorrectly, it's because it's a choice I made. Usually it's comedically because, you know, most pronunciations are local. You want to pronounce a specific word locally, you got to go live in that locality. And there are far too many localities in the world for me to go live in to understand how to pronounce everything in a way everybody wants it to be pronounced. What type of, what type of cupcake society do we live in where everybody's got to pronounce the same word the same way anyway? If you understand what I'm talking about, it's communication. That's all that matters. Like grammar Nazis on Twitter. Like you didn't use a comma. You didn't use your sentence properly. It's Twitter, man. It's Twitter. You know, if I need to turn in a paper for my third grade teacher, then I'll put in commas and grammar as best I can. All right. So this is like my 20th video on the storm. And every time I put up a video on the storm, there's always a couple people like, oh, it's just a normal storm. Oh, it's no big deal. Look, man, I wouldn't be making a fucking video about it if it wasn't a big deal. Look at that. If this were hitting the East Coast, there would be a billion posts on it. It's not. It's hitting the West Coast. Apparently, the West Coast doesn't really care about weather. Now the weather isn't that variable usually. But everything is variable these days. And one other important reminder, since I'm not a weather guy, I'm your planetary defense commander, and I got more bad news. Sorry, dude. The airport drone situation is a reminder that... Negotiations for the future of our civilization are not really going well right now. And we are still on the brink of mutually assured destruction. That's right. I was raised by two Air Force dads and a mom who had the nickname General Patton, but in a really loving way. And I think when my two Air Force dads were telling me about mutually assured destruction at age 13, it affected my career choices. And so you got Eris, which is discord and disharmony, and Aries and Mars and Aries and Chiron is the healer is waiting to get there. Uh, next few days are going to be interesting. And then Venus gone to Jupiter. So all everything's going to be expanded. And then somebody might be like, hey, I didn't come here to listen to astrology. How much did you pay to get in the door, buddy? Nothing. What am I responsible for the shit you click? Is it up to the creator to create the greatest shit? You've ever seen and you know what even if I create the greatest shit you've ever seen my numbers aren't gonna go up my income isn't gonna go up and I'm still gonna be dealing with hackers out the fucking yin yang and bunch of psychos who think that they're God I love you guys though I appreciate the cool asteroid fight club members and I heard a rumor sometimes that when I do freak out sometimes it's it's entertaining and I rarely go after individuals. Almost never. Unless, of course, they stab me in the back a hundred times, insult me a million times, and hack my shit. Then sometimes I feel like I have no other choice. So, yeah, just a big storm. Uh, one of the main pressure systems had it at 970, which is a Category 1 wind speed. The Windy showed us 65 miles an hour wind speeds. Um, I 
Yeah, just, and look at those two systems. They're in tandem. They are connected. It's all connected, baby. Man, I gotta finish a video on the two new Planet X's I found. I think I'm need a little break from weather. But I'll be here to this process for you. Because that's what I do, man. You guys take care of me and I do my best to take care of you. You know what? The shitheads all get, get all the attention. I know. Shouldn't give them attention. It's kind of like, this is what I feel like. I feel like women and then the guys who were following the women stampeded and trampled over all the good men just to protest and put down all the bad men for like 20 from 2015 to 2018 that's what happened all the good guys got trampled as the women and the guys following the women were busy to burn the bad people the bad men in the social networking public square you don't have to agree with it that's fine i'm so old i can remember when people disagreed on shit and it wasn't a declaration of war but you know what the number one step you do if you go to war with somebody or a, a race or a nation or a country or a religion or a sexuality or a gender the very first thing you do in, in the book of war is you dehumanize them so yeah they've been dehumanizing males over the last three years and i'm sick of it sorry it's true All right. Yeah, still shaped like a planet. Now it's got another planetary shape next to it. Planetary shape over here. Oh, that one's lopsided. These are not in hydrostatic equilibrium. I think all science people can agree with that. So yeah, it is a crazy F foobarred up situation. And another thing, people are like, this storm isn't that big a deal. Well, that's why I said, please don't hand me on a report card for at least 48 hours or technically two more weeks because you got this storm, then this storm, then this storm, coming and the first storm already knocked out the pacific coast highway at mulholland um i don't even know if they've repaired it yet and so we're just going to see more damage and it's still shaped like an exoplanet or a moon whatever you want to call it and so models have it headed north and cranky weather guy said he thinks it's headed north so I might be wrong on that guess that it was going to be going more this way, which is fine. I actually like being wrong. It happens so rarely. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I get a lot of shit right. Anyway, what am I talking about? Oh, yeah. So this storm is, where's the one damn thing I'm looking for? You're not it. You're not it either. Uh, I, look, I think I looked for the last month. I lost 33 subscribers i'm like that's fine after every hurricane season you got to clear out all the loose hangers on anyway i'll be honest when, we, when i hit thirty thousand subscribers i was like okay that's fine it's actually more than I ever thought i'd get so i can live with whatever else comes all right so a lot of this moisture will be headed north which will be major problems for canada parts of washington um but cranky weather guy agrees with my assessment that this tail is gonna fuck some shit up and so depending on how it goes and how much of this moisture goes into northern california you guys may or may not be off the hook i don't think you are i think that tail is gonna trend and yeah the area where the volcano fire i'm sorry the volcano vent heat started the fires i'm sorry the direct energy weapons i'm sorry Three homeless guys had a fight over a jug of moonshine and a last bag of marshmallows and knocked over a, a cow that kicked a lantern and started to fire at a hay barn, right? So, that's what's happening. Wherever that tail is going to go, it's going to probably put a lot of water in our volcano theory in the area where the volcano happened. And then we might see more wildfire activity in that area. So it looks like a big nasty mess, and it's just one of a couple, because you got this one right after. You might not even get a 24-hour break before the next one hits. And then this one looks all jumbled up, but I have a feeling it wants to coalesce. I don't even know what coalesce means. I've just been wanting to use that word, sound like a smart guy, for a while. Now look at it over in over the pond. 
I got to go to a party for like the first time in forever the other day. I was talking to a guy from Britain. I said, yeah, so how's weather over the pond? He's like, I don't know. I'm from England. <laughs> Everybody laughed. It was funny. Uh, okay. So yeah, you got all these areas. You guys are getting shit tons of snow. And the snow's been killing people. That's why I made the video last night. It's edited. You should watch it. It's got some funny moments, scary moments in it as well. Um, about called Don't Test Mother Nature. <clears throat> where we've actually been losing a lot of people in these storms due to driving or just not taking the seven foot snow totals seriously. Seven foot snow totals happen in uh, Germany, I think. Austria. Austria. Okay, yeah. So now we'll do we'll do a rundown of the models. And then everybody started to freak out over the See, like, here's the funny thing about media is the weather Twitter, and most of them are on the East Coast. I can't blame them, you know, for not giving the West Coast love. And technically, if you look at the media, East Coast hates everybody outside of East Coast. That's why I would think the men in the East Coast, especially New York, must just be horrible. Because all the East Coast media women do is complain about them all the time. You know, Texas men are way better than that. We're pretty damn cool. I know the East Coast media likes to say we're all racists and bigots, but that ain't true. Texas is probably the most diverse state in the United States. I would even gather that Houston is more diverse than New York. Sure, yeah, you got small pockets of racism in Texas, but we're big as a country. What country do you not have racists in? Um, I would say Texas is less racist than most places. I don't hear a lot of damn Texans going, build that damn wall. It's usually coming from people from like oh, Iowa, you know? Okay. I've said too much, but it's always fun to let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. All right, so yeah. The rain, and, it, and then the rain just disappears on the maps. Like it's really moisty, and then it just stops being moist. I don't think that's how it's going to happen. So I think the midweek storms and the weekend storms are going to be worse. So but look at that thing coming out the... Everybody's already freaking out. So there's like a thousand posts on this storm on Sunday, which will be a mixed precipitation event. I think it'll be bigger than that. And then it'll scrape up the coast. So we're technically in the Northeast season again. And then we get the next one. Boom! As Mother Nature and planetary angular momentum carves out the coast as it has done over the years you could basically see the planetary process happening if you study it enough and you do it enough uh, you can tell that the pressure and the magnetic fields of the other planets affect earth and earth's core people are all like we don't we don't we can't even drill farther than 12 miles down man you know that having all the gas giants on one side boom boom and then having us way out here in the flank, all by herself, it's going to cause some crazy shit. And notice how there's Eris, Uranus, Mars, straight across like that. Now let's go over to here. Boom. One, two. So there's your three planets right there almost. You know? Um, so, yeah, you know, you know, I'm a little tired of the... Because I'm looking for solutions. A house on fire. When you get out of the house, get to higher ground, oh, that looks like boobs. And hey, sorry, women are physically attractive. And I'm sure that since we all were birth, breastfed, that has something to do with our love of boobs as well. Boobs are magic. That's the theory I'm sticking by. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a storm. And Mars and Mercury make people more irritable. So there's better chances this video triggered you. And for that, I'm sorry. Right, everybody stay cool. You can... I'll try and calm down. All right, peace out.